Alright guys, what's going on? Random Comic here. So today I got some COD 4 on the PC for you guys. Playing on BOG. And I actually had a live commentary to this entire video. I'm sniping the entire time so you guys can see me progress pretty much. I think you can really see me getting into a groove. So at first, I'm very uncomfortable with it. Um, I myself admit I'm not the greatest COD 4 player out there. Like right here, I'm like, alright, you know, get the first kill. You kind of get in a groove. But Bog is one of those maps that's uh, back and forth. Sometimes, you know, one team just pounds the other team and traps them into spawn. Like over here, you'll see me get stuck over here most of the game. And for some reason, my character wanted to jump over that car when I didn't want him to. And I get sniped even though I saw that guy. He did a nice little hop though. Boop! He got me right there. But I really don't know what I'm going to talk about in this commentary, guys. It's kind of a free-flowing commentary. I'll just, you know, see how it goes. It is pretty much, you know, chill and laid back. Just got done playing this game. And a little bit furiated because I actually thought we were, you know, coming back in this game. You could see there's going to be us a lot of losing in this game. So that's going to be, you know, consistent through. But then halfway through, you know, we end up pushing back and getting the lead back. And I thought it was because of my getting in the groove and I got some streaks and I was getting good kills. But then I realized there was a hacker on our team the entire time. And uh, I finally figured it out because I saw so many headshots in the kill feed. Even if you watch this gameplay, the kill feed will be filled with headshots, and it'll be one name reappearing a lot. And then he switched teams and started hacking against me, and that's when I just quit, and I'll depart with you guys with that at the very end. Um, you'll hear my live reaction to me figuring that out and stuff, but uh, basically guys, I'm really excited for all the games coming out. So if I do down talk a game, you know, COD, Call of Duty for a little bit, or if I down talk Battlefield a little bit, I still really enjoy these games. There's not anything wrong with disliking it or thinking that something should be changed or, you know, something that I want in the game or want it taken out. I think we all have things that we would like to change, but, uh, you know, you can't get everything you want. Right here, I really thought that uh, staying on this bog would be such an easy, easy task because I've seen so many other people do it. It is, but uh, just a little bit of sloppy shooting on my part. I can uh, even remember myself saying, you know, God damn it, I'm missing all these shots I should be hitting. It's definitely my, you know, lack of in a, uh, la lack of experience playing COD 4. And overall, I don't snipe that often. And uh, COD 4, uh, PC, basically, sniping is, you know, extremely, extremely easy, I would say. Because you got a one-shot rifle that can pull up within a split second. And if you're good, ooh, there's a nasty peek right there in the tank. Did a little crouch dip move and I got him like that but pretty much you know it's really really difficult at times to learn because you can't be accurate as shit but at the same time it's easy so there is a little bit of a learning curve you got to get into a groove you got to be on your toes pretty much all the time you're not gonna hit stupid sloppy shots like uh, right here you can see me hit some nice shots uh, here's an amazing shot I thought I was gonna hit actually I end up hitting it but watch this can you guys can you spot where this guy is boo I get picked he's behind that uh, little Whatever you want to call it, a forklift or something, but ooh, headshot! I get him right back with just the fucking little all you saw is little tip of his head. I get some pretty awesome shots in this game. Um, I do get a a collateral, a rare collateral from me. I do get some pretty awesome shots too, just like uh, you know shots that I thought were pretty sick that I shouldn't have hit. And overall, uh, showing some grizz, you know, showing off some pretty good. Uh, sniper action so I think everybody loves Call of Duty sniping you know what I mean like everybody's always uh, trying to defend quick scopers trying to defend you know any any right to having snipers in the game because I admit sniping is fun as shit but when uh, in this game in particular I really feel like the beginning of the game I was like super pissed in the commentary the live com I was just like god damn it so many snipers even though myself I am sniping, I, I don't know, maybe I put myself on a higher, <laughs> you know, pedestal. Like, I snipe, but at least I don't uh, do, you know, cheesy and cheap things that time. But even though I do do, uh, you know, a fair bit of uh, everything that everybody uh, complains about, I do peek behind little annoyances. Look at that shot, that was such a sick shot, shooting that guy in the bus. Barely the top of his head, that's what I love to see. Love to hear the, the cling on, oh yeah, right there. I got that guy through the smoke. Yes, I did that. Quoting myself <laughs> in the commentary right there. But 
I don't know guys, I'm gonna play the hell out of uh, Bad Company, uh, not Bad Company, uh, Battlefield 3. I'll play the hell out of that until, you know, Modern Warfare 3 comes out. And we'll see what it goes from there. Here is some uh, ridiculous shots. I think I get, did you count those? Two hit markers on the same guy. That's ridiculous. I've never seen that happen before. Especially on a deadly servers. And here, here's my little try to payback. How is that shot not good? Oh, God. I guess, can't complain. Sometimes you get those shots that uh, you think you didn't deserve, and then you got those shots you did deserve, but aren't rewarded with the kill. But, you know, I'm going to play those games, you know, regardless. Um, I'm going to be a little bit confused, because the one thing I really want to know that is going to really, really impact if I keep on playing Call of Duty, which is COD Elite, because I myself have been playing, you know, extensive Call of Duty on... PC and playing on console and you can imagine just buying two sixty dollar games you know, that's $120 out of your pocket plus the greedy man's tax and also you know you gotta pay for COD Elite and now pretty much it's the smartest package to buy the Harden Edition which I forgot the price of but I'm really really confused as to if this scenario will work out in my situation so I have PC and console. If I buy the game for PC and Xbox 360, will one membership of COD Elite cover both of those? Or do I have to have Call of Duty Elite for, you know, PC and Xbox? So if I want to renew every year, I'll have to pay whatever amount it is. That's when Call of Duty is going to get very, very extensively heavy and expensive for, you know, even, you know, the casual players, especially little kids, um... You know, I know if, as a parent in these times, I would be reluctant to uh, listen to my kid like, Oh, please, Daddy, can I have such and such money so I can play a video game? And I'd be like, Yo, what the hell you paying that much money for this game? But um, I really would like to know that answer. I've tried to figure it out. I've searched. If anybody has that knowledge, I would love to know. Because I know there's probably people out there with the same situations, whether it be, you know, you have PC or Xbox, or if you have uh, Xbox and a PS3. And in, in my situation... I actually have all three, but I'll probably stay away from the PS3 version. But I do, it's not because I think the PS3 is inferior or anything, but in the past, you know, Treyarch did a horrible mess up job with Black Ops playing on the uh, PS3, which was pretty, pretty awful, in my opinion. I think people would agree there was uh, some, you know, technical difficulties with the developers over there. It had nothing to do with, you know, one being better than the other. But. I'll be buying it for Xbox, and I'll also be buying it for the PC. PC, especially for the de dedicated servers, the deadies are definitely where, uh, you know, why I'm getting it. And Xbox, just because, you know, I got so many uh, close friends on there, and I love the game with uh, you guys every now and then, you know, the subscribers that I have. And, I don't know, I'd really like to know that information. But I know, oh, I was going to make sure I noticed this. This is what I wanted to note. Infinity Ward, well, you know... Infinity Ward, but now they're gone. Oh, here's that collateral. Let me just interrupt right there. Missed it once, never missed it again after that. I hit it. <laughs> but, you know, pretty much Infinity Ward is good at coding for both PS3 and Xbox. But Treyarch has kind of muffed up their job with Black Ops. So I'm not, you know, worried about all you PS3 guys. I know you guys are going to get a quality um, game from Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. And when I said, you know, Infinity Ward is known for it, I meant here's a nasty big shot. I meant, you know, Infinity Ward is now pretty much all gone. Except for, you know, a few small and, you know, um, familiar faces. Like Robert Bowling and stuff like that. That's like the only face that I recognize so far of, you know, the Call of Duty guys. And also, I really want to see what Sledgehammer has. You know, what they're going to contribute. And definitely, here's where we, uh, you know, make our comeback. So close. Only a few kills, but uh, like I said... I guess I had the devil on my side. We had a hacker um, leading the the way back. And you can see people starting to leave because this hacker, you know, started to piss people off a lot. And I myself leave the game because of the hacking. So, you know, I'm no different. But I'm never caught cheating. Like, there's, there's an instance um, in the chat you'll actually see when I show you guys at the end. Somebody's like, yeah, why would you even play this game? And that, to me, is like a huge question. Like... Why do people play the game with those uh, intentions? Like, if I played a game with the intentions of, like, annoying others, like, hurting others, 
Uh, I would say I would be a pretty big uh, prick. I'd be a dick. You know what I mean? There would be absolutely no reason to do that unless you have some uh, some parenting issues, maybe, or something like that. But I'm pretty much... I already overran where I was supposed to stop, but I'll just end it here. I'll cut the video off for you guys so you guys can see the ending. But you actually have to... I gotta time this up so uh, you'll see the same part right here again. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace. That dude got me. Oh, shit, man. I called in a helicopter. Shit, man. I called in a helicopter and I still just got raped. I see you over there, buddy. Don't worry. I know you're up here. Where'd you go, bro? Oh, alright. Hacker, that's why. Ah, oh, this is the joy of PC. The joy of PC. Fucking hackers. Alright. Uh, here's evidence. If you... If you play PC, this does piss you off. But, I mean, it's like, what are you going to do? Like, you run into hackers like this. We had an awesome game where we were just coming back. And, like, that guy hacks, like, is a bitch. And for some reason, thinks he's a big man because he's uh, hacking COD 4. I don't know, guys. Why do you even play for Exactly, bro. All right, guys. I had a nice streak going. I'm going to end it right here. Um... I'm trying to pick up a new game for you guys. Maybe we'll get some uh, fun gameplay. Not like that. Snipe that guy and we'll leave the game. Alright. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that even with the little fucking hackers, man. It pissed me off. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace.